I absolutely love lilac. From being a kid, we had lilac trees, and it just it's one of those things that just brings happy memories back to me. And it's very old fashioned country type image, and I love it. It's easy to paint. This is an easy one. Beginner fusioneers, this is for you. All right, so I've stamped them out. The images from the stamp. There's a large lilac head. I'm not going to do the small because it's just exactly the same. And there's only two leaves on the stamp set. Really large, open, and then a kind of a one that you're looking at over the, at the side view. So two leaves there, stamped out in... Um, I used stone grey just so you could see them clearly. The paints we're going to use, I'm going to start off with using dark blue from set one. White from the neutral set. Then I'm going to move on to um, the Palmer, which is from set three or the sunflower set and some brown from the foliage set. We'll park those for the minute though because this is what we need right now. So let's get cracking. First thing we're going to do, I'm going to take some dark blue and I'm using um, a stem stipple, a stencil, a scruffy brush, whatever you want to call it. I mean it's really one of those brushes that You've had for a while and you haven't really maybe looked after or seen better days all you do is you cut it down you can see this is quite large um a bit smaller than that would be better so there's that can you see that one there all right so you can see it's been used before and i'm really bad because i've got to clean it which makes it even more kind of scruffyish um that's what we want for the texture this is this is how difficult it is take your brush dry this has not even seen water all right and then even though you've got those that stamp there, it's for shape at the minute. So just go ahead, stipple in all this area. And make it a little bit fluffier towards the outside if you want. You want it more dense in the centre. So can you see how it's just and then we're fading it out? Now you can once you get used to painting the lilacs, which to be honest, I'm not even used to it yet. I'm still just doing the basic stuff because I haven't had a chance to play with all the little combinations and quirks that I'm going to have fun discovering as well with it. So at the minute, we're just going with basic recipe lilac. Um, and this happens with everything paint fusion. I have to start with basic recipe, then do more and, and discover and play. So keep it to that. But it, later on, you might want to change the shape. You might want to curve it a little bit. You might want to make it a little bit irregular. You can do all of that. But that's when your confidence builds a little bit further down the line. Now the next next stage is we'll take some white out now depending on if you want to suggest a highlight and where you want it to be now you might want to think that the sun or the highlight is going to be straight on here in which case we'll put lighter towards the middle and fade it out or you might want to think that the top part is lighter and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to believe that the sun coming from more this side of the of the flower okay now can you see already you've got something here it's lilac but it's starting to look a bit like wisteria you could use these templates change the color and just keep it with a stipply and instead of lilac you've got wisteria so I still want some dark in there can you see I want some text I want some this is the base layer so I really want some dark blue and to be honest I want some white as well so what I can do there because that blue is still wet and when I'm stippling it with white it's lifting the blue up just give it a quick blast with your heat tool this is why I have this one at hand all the time for fusion and it'll dry really quickly and then I can, when I put white on there the white will stick, sit on top of the dry paint rather than lifting up the blue and making a, a pale blue and if I've got a clean brush especially that that's more likely to happen so now hopefully you can see there's much a much lighter tone on there and I just want a little bit more white on there Can you see that much better? I sometimes I think of Rolf every time I... Can you tell what it is yet? I'm not going to sing time you can't grow down, you're all right. All right, there. Yeah, see? That to me... That looks like a, that looks like a flower to me. Seriously, <laughs> you're good to go with that. Change the colours, use pink, use anything. That's the first stage. All right, I'm going to dry it. Then I'm going to come back and we'll show you the next stage. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to over stamp that again. Same stamp, but I'm going to use my um, stays on. I'm going to use the stone grey and I'm going to ink it up again because obviously I've lost the flowers there. I'm going to put them back. So just ink it up. Now, clean rocker blocks would be a benefit here, but you know, um, it is me. So just line it up kind of best you can. 
and then just over stamp and now what you've got is you've got the flowers back in now I want to tell you big big quick time saving cheat here and if you really are brand new to paint fusion what you could do at this stage ink that up with Versamark okay imagine I'd use Versamark instead of that imagine then I'd use some purple embossing powder with glitter in it a pink embossing powder with glitter in it if you're wow powders as you know wows there's loads spring summer all those sets and then you're going to get something like this now um, this is Linda did actually paint underneath some flowers but I don't know if my brilliant cameraman can pick up the, the glitter on there and to say that all you really would need to make that look fantastic is just an embossed over stamped image I'm going to show you this anyway when we're at some different um, demonstrations but just a little heads up Right, now moving back to painting these flowers if we're going to fusion them. Well, I'm going to use the number six round brush. I'm going to take some white out. Don't need loads here because it, they're all just small flowers. And I'm going to take some of this Palmer out. I have to say this is just one colour combination. So many colour combinations you can use with a lilac. I'm going to show you at the end a different colour combination using pinks and looks stunning. So the first thing you're going to do to double load in this brush, you're going to take some of the Palmer onto the brush like that. So just not right up into the brush, not thick and gloopy. Then you're going to dip in the white. And then I would start with this flower towards the centre so you can see how, how big the brush stroke kind of has to be. And then you're going to just go ahead and press down. So every time, if you can just reload it, pink, white, press down, pink, white, and then just come in from outside in, press down, and you get a pretty, pretty, pretty flower shape. You got that? It's all good. And that's it. Now, all you, what you can do to kind of vary it, now it'll vary itself anyway, but if you want to continue it with it looking like there's that highlight on the thing, you can try and put a little bit more white on the brush when you come towards the top bit of the flower. But you know what? I wouldn't even bother. I don't even worry about it that much. It's going to look great anyway. Because it will grad automatically shade itself depending on how much pink, the ratio to white to pink is on, on each a little flower that you paint. Um, don't worry about painting them again perfectly and thinking oh which one's on the front and is that a full flower I'm seeing there and uh, really don't stress it just go ahead and just have fun and if you think there's a little gap and you think oh I want to put another flower in just do it but oh I want to mention this top bit here see where that where that comes to the top of the flower and you've just got little buds it's just little marks like this just go ahead and just pull in little marks here because I haven't really they're not flowers yet they're not full shillings bless them they're just little suggestions of where the flowers are see? There's not, you can see already it's looking really pretty you can see I can see lilac there it just works and I love the fact it's easy you really have to do a lot to make this one look wrong to be honest it's not a challenge you know, so you know, try try to go with right. But even if you think it's not exactly to the blueprint I'm giving you here with Paint Fusion, you know what it's like with other flowers. Usually it looks great anyway. But with this, it's I would say I'd put money on it looking great. I've put my name on it anyway, haven't I? Now, I'm not going to continue doing all of this because, you know, time marches on and you don't need to say it. I'm going to continue. And then we're going to come back when I've got all that coloured and we're going to show you the leaf and then some samples of the finished lilac. I'll see you in a minute. Isn't it pretty? And how easy, look, see? Seriously, I've found out with this one, if you try and make it cleverer than it is, it doesn't look as good. All right, so just, just do it. Okay, next thing, the leaves. Right, I'm going to take some forest green. I'm going to take that out onto my craft sheet. Splodge that out there. I'm going to take some, now this is just a suggestion, colours, alright, just play around with the greens, any combinations, greens, off-whites, whites, yellows, it all looks good. So, you know, this is a suggestion. And uh, let me use a little bit of the brown again, let's tip it with a little bit of that, uh, just to give it that little earthy look. 
Right, okay, so flat brush, half inch flat, wet, then dried onto your kitchen paper. So it's right, nicely ready to use, play nice. So scoop and scoop and smoosh, okay? So dark green one side, antique white the other side, smoosh the colours in. They're blending nicely there. And then I'm almost good to go now. I'm putting a little bit more of the dark green on because I noticed I had a little bit more of the of the light colour and it was I wanted a little bit darker. Now this is a big leaf for painting, so I've got that brush pretty well loaded and I hope it's loaded enough. So I'm turning it round, I'm gonna paint left to right, left sorry, wide to point towards me on the left hand side of the leaf because I'm right handed and that I find easier. Now to give a suggestion of kind of ruffles but not too kind of frilly edged I'm just rippling it in every now and again can you see so it's created a kind of a, a look of, um, of a ruffle but not a serration I didn't want that so let's do the other side okay tip it with brown again now I'm doing left to right so angle it again get your brush so that you've got it right where you want it and then same thing just little fine ripples just to kind of suggest a, a, a vein in the in that leaf and then this one here um, let me see with this one you can make the kind of serrations on either side if you want just use it for the shape so can you see it looks like it was actually if I didn't that side it would have been right but these kind of need to come that way. I'll show you what I mean. Just okay, I'll put that there. Just a long stroke up like that. And then just some little ruffles whoop, underneath and then drag it in. And that would work nicely there. So can you see that's the leaves? Okay. And now finally to finish that off, I'm just gonna maybe paint in a couple of branches. You don't have to, this is just something you can do if you want. All right, so I'm going to take a round brush, small round brush, and I'm going to take some of that brown that's out there, and I'm just going to kind of do a suggestion of of a branch that lilac's coming from, and I don't want to do too much in detail and information there, and uh, just don't overcomplicate it. But I think if we do that leaf, so it looks like it's coming round there, it just looks a little bit nicer. And then that one can maybe just just come in from there. Again, don't don't overcomplicate it. You don't want to give yourself too much work here. And if you've got more than one flower head, it looks really pretty where you've got a few more coming out. I mean, you might just have a little kind of a little a little twig or something just coming off there if you want. It's up to you how how kind of realistic you want to go with it and then we can just use a little bit of that light colour so much water on my brush it's watered down too much the the cream just to add a little bit of a highlight just to soften it a little bit so that it doesn't look as um as harsh Right, you can if you want. You see this little build up in the. I just noticed this little build up there. Let's get rid of that. You could paint a little line in the centre there, but I don't think I will because I I just think that the if you can get away with if your ruffles are, are prominent, I would rather have that suggest the veins and the leaves and paint them in. And there you go. Now I'm going to show you a couple of samples of um, lilac. The largest lilac I've tackled so far. Really big heart box here and um, just painted a nice purple colour and then the light coming over off centre I think that works really nicely okay so that's the box painted that was the first big project I painted and I want to show you this card as this is stunning gorgeous okay absolutely beautiful this is um, Linda created this without saying how to paint the lilac they didn't even get an instruction sheet